Hi, I'm Lauren Pastrana. It's Friday, August 11th. Let's get a check on that travel forecast with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Yes, Lauren, as we head into the weekend, we are going to continue with the heat and the humidity across Florida and the Gulf Coast states. Highs will be in the upper 80s in Tampa and Birmingham, Atlanta. We're seeing low 90s for places like Miami and Jacksonville and some scattered storms, especially in the afternoon hours. Up to the mid-Atlantic and the northeast, we're seeing the 80s for Philly, 82 in D.C., 79 in New York City, the high 72 in Boston with again spotty showers and through the middle portions of the country low 80s for Omaha Kansas City Oklahoma City uh, could see some rain into Oklahoma and the central parts of the U.S. as we head into your Saturday and a still sizzling with highs in the triple digits for Vegas Phoenix upper 90s in Tucson but at least a little bit more comfortable Seattle and Los Angeles will see highs in the upper 70s. Lisa, thank you. The weekend is here, and that means it's time to catch some Friday flicks. This week, Brie Larson, Woody Harrelson, and Naomi Watts star in the real-life story of a dysfunctional family based on a best-selling memoir in The Glass Castle. Here's Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier with more. This is as real as it gets, kids. You learn from living. Based on the memoir by Jeanette Walls, The Glass Castle stars Brie Larson as the grown-up Jeanette, reflecting on her unconventional and sometimes difficult childhood with her parents, played by Woody Harrelson and Naomi Watts. The author was on hand to provide crucial details for the stars when it came to portraying her real-life family. Well, with Jeanette, I mean, we had unlimited access, which is really cool. So she was very available at all times to answer all of our questions, and there wasn't anything we could ask that was too small or too personal. The ultimate resource, you know. She obviously, you know, wrote a great book, but all the other details she gives you outside of that really helps you kind of get your head around the character. And the entire cast recognized that Jeanette's story is a universal one about forgiveness and family. It ended up becoming kind of a cathartic experience for all of us, and we, we all bonded incredibly well from the, from the get-go. And um, I think that's what's so beautiful about this story, is it feels really human, it feels really accessible, and no matter what, we've all come from a family, whether we have one now or not. We, we've come from some significant, you know, influences um, that, that have played out, good or bad, from, from our families. You ain't like me. I am like you, and I'm glad. For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Kevin Frazier. Now I'm back to you in the studio. You can catch Entertainment Tonight weeknights at 7 right here on CBS4, followed by The Insider at 7.30. Thanks for watching. I'm Lauren Pastrana. Remember, we're always on at CBSMiami.com. Have a great day.